today we're gonna make spanakopita. As always, Greeks invent the spanakopita, okay? So, what you need, let me start this little pepper here. What you need is four, let me show them the spinach. Do I have a, uh, where's the spinach? I wanna show what kind of, ah, there you go. Four of these packages. Do I have it straight? Yeah. Four of these, okay? So what you do, you boil water and put four packages, I mean, and wrap this and put them in. It takes like three, four minutes. This is frozen chopped spinach. Yes, frozen chopped spinach. It takes four or five minutes just to defrost inside the um, uh, boil water. And then what you do, you put it in a, in a strainer and squeeze it so hard not to be, not to have liquids, okay, left. So, it is that, you see, out of four, I got only that. What you need? Four of this, extra virgin olive oil, one pound crust, I mean, bread feta, but I, I like crumble. big chunk, crumble, chunks. You need four bunches green uh, spring onions, Little bit of pepper, dill, and four eggs. All right, and the best of all, a package of filo number, all right, number four, okay? That's all, it's very simple, but. And also the cheese. The okay, cheese. now, let me tell you. This is Kefalo Graviera, one cup. If you don't have it, if you can find it, you can order it probably somewhere, but if you don't have it, you don't have to put it in, but it gives a good taste to it. What we do, it's so simple, I can't stand it. So what I did, I put the um, spinach, and I just heat it up a little bit with olive oil, and now everything is easy. What I'm gonna do, you do not cook uh, with the spinach your onions. You just put them like this, okay? Like that. Put your cheese. There you go. Feta All cheese. Of it. Feta cheese. Put your um, kefalo graviera, okay? The eggs. There you go. It's so easy, but it tastes so good. There you go. Um, and now you need dill. I forgot dill. Usually I put fresh dill, but I couldn't find it. So I'm gonna use some dill weed. They call it, yeah, dill weed, okay. I put like two tablespoons or three. I'm just going to mix this real good. It's very, very simple, but it's so good. You wanna eat some, Angelo? Yeah. Oh, God, it's, I'm telling you, it's typical Greek food. Because when you cook the onions with the spinach, the onions, they get kind of burning. And did you explain what Spanakopa is for people who don't know? What is it? I am asking you, did oh. you, so I don't remember. It's, um, well the greens, it's kind of savory, um, filo, stuff. It's basically, like yeah, it's yeah. a spinach pie, basically. Spinach pie. But inside okay, filo look, dough. look guys, look what happened. You see this? It's just delicious. I want to see how it tastes. Mm. That was all the preparation, but you have to cut your onions and everything. What we're gonna do here, let's put this stuff away. I have a lot to clean up. That's what it is, the clean up. As long as you have olive oil. Let's finish this bottle. There you go. I tried one time and I did it with butter, but it didn't. It wasn't good. 
and what I'm doing, I don't have time for that because when you work with phyllo, you have to do fast. If you don't, your phyllo can dry. And then it's going to become crack. brittle and crack. Yeah. We used to, I remember when I was a kid, we used to do the phyllo, you know, roll it up, no time. <laughs> No time now. Okay, it looks like we are in luck, and this pillow is not, there you go. I'm going with a brush, brush down the pan, and I'm gonna put 10 layers under, okay? Make sure you, your faucet doesn't drip. <laughs> okay, um, and you go like this as always, yeah, okay? And don't worry how you feel off is too. You said 10 layers, just ten all layers. on the bottom. 10 layers are on the bottom. And between each layer, you're brushing olive oil. Yes, and then I'm gonna cover with the rest of the pillow. Okay, there you go. Don't worry if it crumbles up, I mean, you know, get wrinkled up, it's okay. Two. Keep counting, Angelo. No, you missed a spot. That's okay. No, it's not. Two. Okay. Three. Okay, so everybody gets the idea. I'll, we'll come back when uh, we're ready to do the Three. next step. Okay, this is the ten. So what you do from the eighth, nine, ten layer, just go like this. Keep the walls um, all olive oil oil make sure everything is like that oh that's the okay this is very well coated hold on and what we're gonna do now we're gonna come like this and we <sighs> when you turn this over it kind of looks like um the haircut from, uh, I think, Mo oh, from the Three Stooges. Stuff. No, the bowl. Oh, you go make sure, if you have bigger pin, that's fine. Make sure you go on the edges, okay? How many th times do you think you've made Spanakopita in your life? Oh my God. If it's not thousands, if it's not millions, it's thousands. <laughs> I'm not saying millions, but a lot. Okay, look here. Make sure you go in the corners and do that. Go around. And now, we start again. Ooh, I put some oil, it's okay. Oh, I think I did that. Cover this, like that again. Go like this. Don't be afraid to touch the... I'm gonna put another 10 layers on top. Okay, well, hold on. Two. There you okay. go. Okay, so we'll come back when we'll the back. 10 layers are done. And if you need more olive oil, please. Okay. Now, this is 10, but I think I'm going to go with 11 because I don't want to waste this fill off. Okay? So, look here. We doing this now, and even though this is okay. Oh, and preheat your oven to 350 yeah, degrees. Yeah, preheat your oven. Go like this. It wouldn't matter. And we put. Wait, wait. You're not gonna get the middle? Oh, I forgot this. Oh my God. And here it is. Okay. Go like this, so it looks a little. What I'm gonna do, I'm just going to not cut. I'm just gonna make little lines, okay? Just like that. There you go. But what is this, two inches? I don't know. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be a tiny little. That's okay. Slice. That you... It's okay. 
and make sure on your cut, cut that little bit, like a, a quarter of an inch. Don't cut the whole thing. It looks like you're cutting deep, though. Yeah, I do, but I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying, just like that, not too deep. <laughs> oh, I'm doing good. <laughs> you could just start at the end. Yeah. Okay, see, you can, you don't have to stick the blade straight down, you can... Yeah, like this, sideways, but I don't have time, I need to go. I need to, um, finish up. That's not quite... Let me do it. There we go, I got it. Got it? Okay. You got the idea, you cut it like a quarter of an inch, and what you do, the rest of the olive oil you have left, just, you know... The next step, few little bit of water and sprinkle so the the filo won't rise. Okay. We're gonna put it in the oven 350 for one hour, but maybe do less. But look, when it comes up, that's why I say if you wanna do little calligraphy, that's fine. But on the, you know, it's baked, it doesn't show anything. There you go, goes in the oven, 350, look at that. Okay, now, that's it. We're gonna clean up and we're gonna come back. Wait, how long does it cook? Approximately one hour. But I'm gonna time it and I'll let you know for sure because some ovens are different. Okay, back to our spanakopita, one hour later. And... It is just, look at that, just perfect. I'm going to put it right here, okay, um, it's sizzling, that's what I tell you, remember when we make all these messes with a filo, look, mm -hmm. doesn't show anything, it looks perfect, maybe right here, Woo! right here, but it's just so good. Oh my god, and it smells like heaven. All right, so we're going to let it cool for a little bit? Yes, it's going to have to cool off. There you go. It smells good. Yeah, you do need good hour in my oven on 350 to get golden brown the filo. See, remember what I said? No matter what you do, even if you slap a little bit, don't worry. Look what happened. Oh, my God, it smells like heaven. Although it tastes so good, let's cut a few pieces. You wanna eat all this? I'll eat, I'll eat uh, some. I mean, okay. I don't mean all this. Oh, no, you will. Oh, yes. <gasps> yes, oh, cut it good. Let's get another slice or two on there. That way we can show it oh, to the audience. Oh, we're gonna put many slices there. That's why I got the bit. Hold on, it's okay, have patience. goodness oh this is better than the other one you know oh my god there you go clean cut Ooh. and let's get another one okay there you go what is it oh now look how it looks look at this okay it's about is it two inches or one inch high? Mmm. Mmm. See, that looks pretty good. If this is not good, well then I don't know what it is. Look. Look at this. Oh, yes. This is so good. 
Okay. Oh, I don't want that. Okay. I'm not going to get a fork. I'm not going to get nothing. I'm just going to go like this. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. This filo. Mmm. It's delicious. Mmm. My God. The only thing you can say when you eat this is mmm. 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 <laughs> Wine. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. subscribe, and leave us your com comments, make it, enjoy it, and support us on Patreon. And support us on a Patreon. I'm telling you, this is so good. Just one dollar on Patreon helps us. Thank you. Here you go. To you all, look at that. Oh my god, it's so good. I can't even talk. But let's take this out. When you do this, oh my goodness, look at that. It is just awesome. Okay? This is my Spanakopita. Okay? Mmm. Bye, everybody. Oh my God. The filo is so flaky. Mmm. Mmm.